Now, this is a very important verse that we just read because it actually reveals to us why we have the infilling of the Spirit but are not fully manifesting what they manifested in the early church. And here's why. In Acts chapter 1, Jesus is describing that Jesus had had died he had gone to the cross he had gone to the belly of hell he has watch this he had been raised and resurrected but he had not ascended yet there was a period of time of 40 days where Jesus had not ascended and the Bible lets us know what Jesus was doing during this time he was showing himself to be alive it says with many unfailable proofs but but pay attention to the main thing that he was doing it says he was teaching them things pertaining to the kingdom of God these were things that he could not teach them during the three years that they walked with him so he was pouring revelation knowledge into them now what revelation knowledge is we know revelation means to uncover something that is secret something that is hidden but in the spirit realm because everything that God makes he he finished and completed it even all the way back into Genesis when the Bible says this is the the history or the genealogy or the generations of the earth so it lets us know that God made everything in in how many days six so he makes everything in six days and then he rested on the seventh now why did God rest he rested because on the sixth day he had reduplicated himself so that meant from that day forward there would be a man that would do his function in the earth there was no more a need for him to work in the earth because he had reduplicated a man with his DNA so there was a man that could do exactly what he could do Adam and so what this means is in the beginning everything was completed so everything is finished everything is done so revelation is connected to an eternal realm where God uncovers things from before the foundation of the world so this means that revelation is never really new it's just new to our ears okay so so he's unveiling things that are eternal now this is important for us to understand so revelation is not mental it's not intellectual so because it's not intellectual it's not something that we can access by reason and this gives us a, one of the reasons why here in America why there is there's demonstration but it's not to the degree of some other countries and it's not because God is different the reason why the realm of demonstration is lesser in the United States is because here the gospel is more intellectual the gospel has never been intellectual in fact whenever Jesus would teach the Bible says that the Pharisees would reason in their mind now that reasoning in their mind was this important to gather they were trying to grasp and receive from an eternal realm with a natural intellect and so when they were trying to do this it was hindering the manifestation of them actually receiving the word that they were hearing so so hear what I'm saying so intellect knowledge natural knowledge natural wisdom has no access into the eternal it has no access into the eternal now let me say this here in the United States when you hear a preaching like uh, Lazarus being raised from the dead when you begin to hear this teaching we begin to talk about situations being raised and one reason why is because it's easier to tell the people that God will raise their situation than it is to tell them that God raises the dead and so what we've done is without realizing it we have slowly watered down the supernatural in the Bible God I feel I feel this I said we've watered down the supernatural in the Bible so for 40 days Jesus poured into them secrets and mysteries of the kingdom and then in Acts 2 they were filled with the Holy Spirit now this is important because watch this we have the feeling but God must catch us up in the revelation 
The Bible tells us that God wants to enlighten the eyes of our heart. Now, watch what it says in Ephesians, Ephesians chapter 1. It tells us he wants to enlighten the eyes of our heart so that we can know what is the hope of his calling, but this is another key, and the inheritance inside of you. So revelation is a key that unlocks the manifestation of what's already in you. What this also means is you can't move into what you don't have a revelation of. This is why I say we're filled with the Spirit, but because of a lack of revelation, we're not moving in the potential of our sonship yet in the United States. Oh, my goodness, I feel this. So, Acts 2, once again, they were filled with the Spirit. Now, remember, and before we get to the upper room, the Bible says that Jesus breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. So, in that moment, they received new birth. That's what they received in that moment. Because we know that the foundation of our faith, you must first accept that Jesus died, but you also have to accept that Jesus rose from the dead in order to be saved. That means that before this point, everything that even the apostles were doing was under the law. And it meant that they were not yet born again. And that's why the moment that they accepted that Jesus had risen, that's why Jesus could now breathe on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. So, so they receive the Holy Spirit. They receive supernatural knowledge. They receive things that you cannot really study, things that the Holy Spirit must uncover and unveil to us. And then they receive the infilling. Now, I want to I say this. I want you to think of Jesus' three years of ministry. I want you to think of the things they saw, the things that they witnessed. They saw Jesus walk on water. And I'll present this to you. I want you to think of this. When they witnessed Jesus walk on water, they had already saw Jesus heal the sick by this point. They had already saw Jesus raise the dead. They had already saw Jesus prophesy. When they saw Jesus walk on the water, they thought it was a ghost because it was a realm of the supernatural that they had not experienced yet, even though they were already in the supernatural. This is what the Holy Spirit said to me concerning America. He said, America, you have seen the supernatural, but you have not seen the realm that's coming in the next wave yet. There's another wave of the glory of God that is coming to America. It is going to be so advanced that there will be many that if they are not equipped with revelation, before it comes, they will misinterpret the depth of the supernatural and say that it is witchcraft. Because it, it will be more advanced. It will be no different than the disciples were. The, I, I want you to think of them. They witnessed all of that. But yet, when they saw the new realm, because human nature is that whatever I don't understand, it must be either explained away or it's accredited to the devil.